is a four foot balloon. I'm a three foot person. You do the math. Yeah, in a minute, this balloon's gonna enter my mouth. It's gonna go through my esophagus, past my stomach, through my intestines, and out the other end. Well, I'm joking. <laughs> That's not what happened. No, it goes into the fallopia tube somewhere. I think I just lost half of the audience on this, didn't I? Now, like I said at the beginning of the show, this is one of those stunts where I don't want to do it unless you actually want to see it. So if you want to see it, now is your time to shine. I want you guys to get so loud that we scare everybody at the games. Ready, set, go! Go! How's it going, guys? I'm about to do it. Yeah. All right, we're going to kick it up now. Everybody do me a favor, hands up, all the way up. Yeah, if you don't put them up, I swear I'm just going to come out and touch you. Yeah. It is not TV. I can actually see you. I go and I say that, you see all the women go like this. Bam! And you see some of the guys go, bring it on, big boy. <laughs> Hands up, all the way up. All, all I need right now is a nice, steady, rhythmic hand. You guys want to see one more trick before I do, do the finale? Yeah? yeah? All right, you little brats, watch this. Here it goes. <laughs> one more trick for the kids. The this Where's one, the I learned balloon? from Jersey. <laughs> it is not what you think. Nope, it is a Coke. Yep, I like Coke. Hey kids, look at this. This is my world famous vanishing coke bottle trick. Believe it or not, after 30 some odd years, none of you little brats have ever caught me before, but I'm gonna challenge it. If you think you know where it went, I need you to yell it out. Don't raise your hand, just go nuts. Ready? Watch this, I'm gonna make it vanish. Zoop! Look, it's gone. Holy uh... No, I'm not like a switch hands, little snot. No, I'm not like I'll bring it back again. Da -da 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 -da. How are you doing? Magic, sir. <laughs> I told you to pull them, they never figured it out. What? What? That's an eight, you little Satan. <laughs> Alright, you know, I joke about not liking kids. I joke about it. But I gotta let you guys know something. What happened with I really do like kids. As a matter of fact, I've got three kids of my own, and believe it or not, two of them were adopted. Thank you. I know. I'm just trying to find a home for that last one. <laughs> hey, uh, before I do the final stunt, I am going to say this, though. Uh, this is my sixth year here back at the first, uh, no, New York Renaissance Festival. <laughs> And uh, it is great to be back in New York to see you guys laugh and smile and look confused. <laughs> All right. uh, but I do want to say from the bottom of my heart to yours, thank you. Thank you for coming out and supporting live theater. Without you guys, we wouldn't have these shows. So please, give yourselves a nice round of applause. Thank you guys so much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good for us. Now, every year, I do this dumb stunt. And every year, I keep saying I'm not going to do it again because it's way too dangerous. 
And then one of you gets this bright idea to call up management and go, yo, I like that stunt, he should do it. And then management calls me repeatedly going, hey, they like that stunt, you should do it. I tell them it's way too dangerous. They call me again, you should do it, it's way too dangerous, 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 you should do it, it's too dangerous, you should do it, it's way too dangerous, you should do it, it's too dangerous, you should do it, it's way too dangerous, we'll pay you more, okay. Now, I did talk to all the other major stage acts that are out here, like Aaron Bonk. I talked to a tiny girl, Big Show, Magic Hana. I even talked to London Royal, Cirque du Soir, and uh, a few of uh, Jeffrey Jones, the magician here. And they all agree that what you're about to see right now is the dumbest finale here at this festival. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Woohoo! All about dumb here. Yeah, but it is also the most dangerous finale here at this festival. Okay. So what that means for you guys is that you're getting dumb and dangerous all rolled up into one. My lonely lady, as gives upon my sword board, you'll notice there's one sword left. That sword has not one, not two, but three pencil sticks coming off the end. In a moment, boys goes, I'm gonna take that sword and pop it inside my mouth. Hold on to it with the back of my tongue. Let go with both hands, at which point the sword will be suspended there for about two to three seconds. I will then relax my entire gag reflex, at which point that sword will slip down on its own accord until my lips hit the hilt. When that happens, I expect you guys to go absolutely buck wild. I want you to scream, clap, cheer, smack your grandmother's really get into it, all right? Because after that, it gets extremely dangerous. With precision, I will take out each one of those targets one by one with each one of these whips. All right, yeah now. Thank you. Who called me daddy? I heard that. <laughs> if that sword goes to the left, it can perforate my heart. If it goes out to the right, it'll take out a lung. So what I'm trying to tell you is simple, is that if this goes well, you guys are going to get a good show. Yep. If this goes wrong, you're going to get a great show. <laughs> but if this goes horribly wrong, I need you guys to do me the kindness and please put down the cameras, <laughs> dial 911, walk away, and forget what you saw. All right? I do not want to end up on TikTok again. No. And by the way, for those of you that want to follow me on social media, all I have to do is go to the link show on Facebook, Instagram, Tinder, Grindr, Plenty of Fish. <laughs> Christian Mingles, Farmers Only, my OnlyFans. Yeah, don't get excited about the last one. It's just me and a cat suit going like this. Yeah. Now I'm going to grab the sword, and I do have one last thing, and I need you guys to listen up. Here it goes. My lords and ladies, this is live theater. And in live theater, accidents can and do happen. If an accident should happen, I need you all to do the right thing, from all the way up there to all the way up here. I need you to walk up and drop a 50 next to my body. <laughs> <laughs> well, my medical bills are really expensive, okay? Oh, okay? Now you see this? This is the point of impact. That's where you guys go nuts. Up here, it's gonna go by extremely quick because I do not want this in my body any longer than it has to be, capiche? Yeah. So with that being said, as it stands right now, out of eight some odd billion people on this planet, I still am the only one that does this stunt. Yeah! I'd like to thank you guys for cheering for the village idiot. If you didn't know who he was, you just found him. Yeah. <laughs> My lords and ladies, it is now time for you to enjoy your finale. In the tradition of an old sideshow saying, down the hatch without a scratch, let's give it the respect it deserves. One last time, hands up. This is going to be so good. You know what to do. We hope. ladies, look left, look right, look around you. Those people surrounding you right now, at the end of this show, are going to end up walking away. You know who you are. Don't do it. 
at the end of the show, come up and say thank you. It means the world to me. When you walk off, this is live theater, I see it and it breaks my heart. This took me many years to learn how to do. This wasn't by accident. It didn't just happen overnight. So thank you goes a long way. If you have no money to give, I don't. this is my gift to you. Take home this memory and tell a friend about it. Hashtag the link show so I can find your photos and videos and like them as well. But if you do have money, I like a lot of it. <laughs> and I don't ask for much. I think there's dumb little shows at least worth 10 bucks. 10 bucks the price of a cup of coffee at Starbucks these days. $20 gets me into my next festival. But if you give me a 50 or a 100, that's something I've never gotten before. Well, let's face it, I'll go home with you. <laughs> and if you have no money whatsoever, it's okay. There's an ATM right down this path right here. <laughs> but whatever you do today, whether you tip or don't tip, whether you have the courage to come say thank you or not, and trust me, these days it takes a lot. Do me this one favor. It's massive, it's huge. And don't let anything stop you. Go live your dream. This is my dream to make the world smile. I've been doing it now collectively for the last 38 years. Holy moly. People just like you. This is my heart. This is my basket. Go out with peace and love. My name is Lynx, and that was my show. The exit is this way. Also, oh, I almost forgot one last thing. My lords and ladies, I do have merch. I don't know if you guys are into this kind of stuff, uh, but I've got four collector bone pens. The first one says, hey, I'm about to swallow. The second one says, I swallow so you don't have to. My third one, which is my favorite, and I'll just say it right now, it's just two words, simply put. All it says is, throat go. They're $15 a piece, and the creme de la creme, the thing that I'm most proud of is this. For those of you that like to go on those long campaigns with your friends and play that wonderful game that we call D&D, &D, I offer you a minifig of me swallowing a sword. Those are $20 a piece. Uh, my lords and ladies, the exit is this way. Thank you guys so much and enjoy the rest of your day. Up next, Death Ball, folks. Here it goes. Here. Thank you guys so much. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stay up here so I can see who leaves without tipping. How much money are you going to get? Thank you. Right there, kids. Thank you so much. Let me give you this one.